How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The corny loon. The corny loon, that's for sure. And folks, we are so excited today because we are showing you... I, oh, the dogs are excited, excited too. We are going to show you how to make one of the most delicious summertime, oh, anytime, anytime of the year. Of the year. Picnic, gathering, it's whatever. It's so good. It's so delicious. You probably guessed by a, the corny loon reference <laughs> in this. We are making our incredible slow cooker corn, corn on the cob. cob. So I have to tell you, I, every time I serve this, I mean, you know, we love to have friends and family over and dogs and yes. everything. And, and I always, you know, pull out all the stops and we do smoked meats and barbecues and, you know, everything yeah. in really great sides. And, and this But he does it so, early. You do it a lot, a lot of things early. Well, I do. But I mean, is, I, I really spend a lot of time really getting everything, really these spectacular dishes. Yes. And these um, are so simple and you're going to see how simple they are to make. You do them early on, and then you just put exactly. them in slow and good. And they're always they're like, wow, you know that that brisket you did? That was good. But this like, corn, corn on the cob. What? I'm like, well, great. <laughs> so anyway, I thought, I, I got to share it with you guys because it's so easy. It is so easy. And it's so delicious. Yes. So it's corn on the cob. So let me tell you how we did this. First of all, it, we start off, I started off with, I believe I've got 10 corn, ears of fresh corn. If you're going to do this, I really recommend going fresh. fresh Don't please. do the frozen because the frozen is going to have a lot of moisture in it. It's not going to. Yeah. It's just not going to be sweet and as delicious. And it's um, crunchy in the end. Yeah, it's just not as good. So anyway, yeah. so you take your uh, your fresh corn on the cob. You're going to then want to remove the husks. You're not going to remove that fun silk, silk, silky silk, and um, and then all you do, you very carefully take a nice large sharp knife. I emphasize sharp. Sharp is much safer than dull. <laughs> and with a very steady hand, you just cut off the top, the the, the end. Yeah. And then you cut off the other end, and then you just give it a good whack with your hand, and you cut it down the middle. Yes. Now again, you got to be careful with this, but it's you know, and some, I, you know, I, I've done this many, many times. Some, some of these, the core of this corn is a are little so some, hard. Well, no, some of them are are hard. Some of them are harder than others. Yes. Some of them you can just go boom and they come right through. Some of them require a little bit of a Pressure. push and just don't overdo it. If it's too I just hard, put my then, weight into it. Well, yeah. And if you don't have someone that can help you put their <laughs> weight into it like I do, then just put it, you know, put the whole corn in there. That, that's no problem. Fine. But we love these little <laughs> niblet sizes. Everyone yes. always says, I love that I can just pick it up with my hands or go. Right. And right. so and, and they don't fall off your plate as easily. They don't. They don't, which means you can just <laughs> grab more and just eat them. And that's what happens. So, okay, so we've got a nice, large uh, slow cooker here. Yes. And all we do, this is going to steam them beautifully, and it makes them so juicy, so just perfect. Yes. So, okay, so now that is uh, three quarters of a cup of water. So all we're just going to throw it in we're here. We're just putting that in there. And you can, it depends on how many you're, you're cooking here. Like I said, I'm doing 10 whole corn. So this is about 20, well, it's 20. Uh, halves, yes. um, but if you're doing less, you can do a little less water. If you're doing more, you can do a little more water. It's you know the, the, anywhere from a half a cup to a cup of water is what you're going to want to do. Yes. Okay. So now we've got this these beautiful corn on the cobs that we've done. Now I've got about a half a stick of unsalted butter that I have melted, and I've got my trusty little brush here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush this because you know. Mm. I, what would corn on the cob be? I know you start salivating. Wow, now. Right, what would corn right. on the cob be without butter, right? I mean, it's got to be that. All right, so now I'm going to hand this over to you. Yes. And just give it a nice general, just a little salty. And I'm going to do this over the crock pot yeah. because, you know, salt is Salty. Good. It's going to get the, the little extra salt will go in there, and, and that's fine. Is it? You're going to want to probably salt these again. And, and then we, are just, gonna, we are going to butter them again. And then I just place it right and in there. And then you just place that in there. And then you just do this. Yeah, we're um, not done with that butter. Yeah, no, we're not. Don't <laughs> drink it. And then you just finish. You do these until you're all, the bowl is all finished. And mm. I'm going to try and do it one-handed so that my fingers don't get buttery and get, get, the, yeah. get the butter all gross. Well, good luck on that. <laughs> okay. See, look. Okay, okay. <laughs>
Oh, so now see, wasn't that silly. fun? It's so easy, and you had a good time while oh, you're doing it. I just want to lick my fingers. You already have. I know. So don't lick. Well, no. Anyway, well, don't lick mine. I can lick them now all I want. <laughs> okay, so now that's all there is to it. So now we're going to take the lid, and we are going to uh, cover our favorite little slow cooker here, big old slow cooker. Yeah. And then we're going to. So you can cook these on high um, from anywhere from like two to three hours. Or what I recommend, it's always good. Low and slow is always good. Start these in the morning, and um, you can go anywhere from five to eight hours on low. Once you've reached that time frame, then you can just put it on warm, and they're going to stay beautifully cooked, beautifully warm, and then people can eat them when it's time to eat. Yes. So, all, right, all right, so we're going to I've got this set. Yep. Okay, well, let's... Uh, Let's go have a wait. Beer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, folks, it I has mean, been it's so easy. A very long time <laughs> since uh, the sun has gone down, and I'm hungry. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. So, this has been cooking. We had this on low for uh, six, seven, seven and a half enough hours. Enough time. But then enough. it went on. Yeah. Then it, we just kept it on medium, and it's so Look as it cooks, it becomes really bright yellow and there's it this is a mix of the white and yellow it's oh, just beautiful love it. i mean it's when it's corn is at its peak this is the time to do this so Ooh, i'm so now, excited we're gonna just you know we gotta like i said corn on the cob what's corn on the cob without some butter uh hello this is time you're to talking rejoice. to uh, the loon here i know i know so <laughs> there's no such thing as too much butter in our house i, I love it so anyway so now what we we're gonna do is we're just gonna give this a little bit of a stir yeah, mix and you'll that see some of these the ones on the there. bottom just get a little browned which is beautiful yes you know just a little Oh my yes. gosh, the smell is incredible. And they just, they don't overcook, they don't dry out, they just get perfectly, oh, perfectly done. I can't take it. And then what is awesome is that you can literally, let me get that butter down in there. You can serve it like this, put this out, and then people can just grab it whenever they're ready. And, and trust me, people are going to be going back and back and back. That's what always happens. Yeah. I'm just amazed. At uh, how okay, shush. Okay, I'm going to put this on your plate. <laughs> yeah! Little, little niblet. And what's so, also what's fun about this is because you're doing kind of like the niblet size. It's yes. so easy just to hold. You don't have to worry about the little prickly things that break and all. And so <laughs> yeah. it's wonderful. And then you just, just put the lid back on. Don't that look great? I love don't it. That look don't great. that look great? <laughs> all right, well. The grammar's not our. Favorite. I'm going to salt it a bit. And then, yeah, just. Have y'all see my little, uh, my loon? Salt shaker. We have from my friend Laura in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, maybe some pepper. Too. Oh yeah, pepper is good. And again, that's another good point. You can add other kind of seasonings to this. Cumin, a curry is good. Ooh. All kinds of things is really good. Little paprika good. too. Paprika, mm. thyme, so many ideas. But you know, just the basics. It's still a little warm, so I'm gonna yeah, go it's, quick. It's good and hot. It's the best. It's the it's not overcooked. It is so good. And did you hear it crunching in my mouth? I did. And I it's delicious. It's so sweet and delicious. Flavorful. Oh my gosh. Darn it. It's so good. <laughs> well, good golly. And it's you know I mean I normally you could boil it, but this just you, you well, you could, you could. You but can also grill it. Yeah. But the great thing about this is that it, it, it retains yes. the succulent, delicious flavor. That's of the what form. it's all about. And you can do it way ahead of time, and it just totally. enhances the flavor. My little fingers got a little burnt, though, because that's hot. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's all right. I'll have to go back You'll in. You'll suffer through yeah. it. You'll power through it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah. Now that is 100% Luna Proof. <laughs> oh, well, I'm all ears for that. I'll tell you that. Well, that's awesome. i got to try some. Love it. Give it a whirl. I could tell it was Wow. Really hot. Now you can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. Oh, so good. Yeah. It's so good. Mm. Isn't that great? And guys, go to our social media, share a like, do all that. So good. So we easy. We love you all so much. So good. This is so good. Quickie, quick, your friends, quick, quick, except for the eight hours that you have to wait for it. Well, I know, but but you're going to do a million other things while it's so slow cooking. <laughs> and then, you know, you're going to make this incredible meal and everyone's going to remember the corn on the cob. Yes, yeah, that's I okay. know. That's how good it is. Yeah. Yay. Oh, mm. thanks, y'all. Mm. We're just going to hit here and sit here and I can't talk anymore. Well, it's been a long day. It's because you're so corny. <laughs> Hey everybody! Hey! <laughs> now if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right, and to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>